Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. This week on At Home, we're in beautiful Alberton, Prince Edward Island to tour Ted Haslam's Mount Vernon replica home. Originally from Atlanta, Ted has decided to settle on the red soil of Prince Edward Island. Welcome to At Home, the show that showcases homes all across Atlantic Canada with myself, Jordan Hipson. Come explore with me. Hello, Ted. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to Prince Edward Island, welcome to Alberton, and welcome to my home. Thank Let's you. go inside. Well, as you know, Ted, first impressions are very important, uh, and definitely walking into this house, you get a great one. So why don't you tell us all about the foyer and take us on a tour of the rest of the house. Well, would love to. Um, the foyer is a pretty standard foyer. We have a staircase here that goes up to the second floor. Up above you here stands a 140 pound chandelier that I brought from, from Atlanta uh, when I was moving up here. The other things that are here, there's a Maasai shield here that they used when they were going to war. It closes up and opens back up. The red is supposed to scare the warriors who are coming uh, to them. Uh, and these are some uh, not terribly old but interesting wall hangings that they have up here that have been framed and they're African fabrics mm. hanging on the uh, on the wall. Perfect, I think you're adding a lot of impact by putting the big pieces on the wall. You know, you've got the big piece on this wall, this wall, and then two behind us, as well as the giant chandelier and the lovely stained glass. So I think you're definitely getting perfect impact from that. Good. And this as well. I am so envious of this. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have to try to get my hands on there one of those. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Good, well, uh, to this side we have the kitchen, this side we have the living room, and the little dining rooms through there. So which one would you like to start well, with? Well, let's start with the kitchen. Well, let's go to the kitchen then. Okay, Jordan, this is the kitchen. Um, it's a fairly big kitchen. It used to be small, but I expanded it. I took out a wall and made some changes. But as you can see, I feel like having different items around really helps make it more homey rather than just a, an empty room. So we have things, this is a piece of African art that I brought back from one of my trips over there. Over here we have some art that comes from Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's an artist who is resident over, um, over there. Um, behind us we have got a, uh, a set of shutters that came from a, somebody's home actually in the Cameroon. Um, and they didn't have glass in the window, so they used these as the shutters to keep the bugs out at night. Over on the wall there, you have got a mask, which comes from Bali, uh, that I got when I was there once. Um, and in here, we have got a variety of different things. We have the island that has a granite counter on it. I like it because it can move. It's sitting on felt, so you can sort of move it around wherever you want it to go. Jordan, I use um, artificial flowers, silk flowers here in the house in several different places. Rather than bringing in outdoor flowers, um, my experience here has been that they bring insects with them when they come in. So rather than having the insects come in, I think you can get a very nice looking arrangement by doing it with silk flowers. The secret though is you need to get good silk flowers. You need to spend a little bit extra and when you do that, they look good and they last. Yes, that's the one big thing that I want to mention with the silk flowers is that they last. You can put them in a little bit of acrylic at the bottom which solidifies and looks just like water and you don't have to replace them every single week. So 
Starting with the kitchen, we have a few different features that really stand out and make it a great place to be. The first one is our set of double wall ovens. So this is a new trend uh, that's coming around for the everyday cook, so the people at home. It's been in commercial kitchens for ages, but how convenient is it to be able to bake your turkey in one oven and all of your fixings in the other? Some other features quickly are the Corian countertops, which are very durable and last a very long time. They're also not the price as uh, something like this expensive granite might be. A couple other things are we have a moving island. So if you are having uh, guests over for dinner, you can quickly make uh, this kitchen into a little tuck away spot and have a grand table. We also have outlets placed strategically throughout the floor so that we can plug in things like lights and small appliances. As you can see, uh, this room is definitely a very unique shape, um, and this house is actually based off of another significant home, so why don't you tell us all about that? Yes, this house was designed to look like Mount Vernon, which was uh, uh, the first president of the United States, his home in Mount Vernon, uh, Virginia. And so the outside looks exactly like it. These curved rooms here are an adaptation of the porticos that go from the main house to what was in fact the kitchen in the old house. And on the other side, it goes from the main house to the guest house here, but that was the slave quarters that they had for some of the people, the family slaves rather than the field mm -hmm. slaves. So it has a, a fairly unique angle, and I just use it to display items of art that I picked up around. In another wing of Ted's home, he has uh, put in a second refrigerator for parties. So while you might think that a second refrigerator sucks up a lot of energy and is bad for Mother Nature, he doesn't actually keep it on unless he is having guests over that are bringing extra drinks or extra meats or things like that uh, to make the dinner party just that more enjoyable. Nice giant fridge, no freezer, just for your drinks. So why don't we go check out the living room? Good. So in Ted's living room, we have a very functional sectional sofa. Sectional is the right term to use because we have different sections of the sofa that pull apart to become individual chaise lounges. But with this backer board, you can also push it all together to become one nice lounge spot to watch a movie with your loved one. choosing a paint colors for your home, choose colors that work with your life. If you have a very busy, hectic personality like I do, you might want to choose calm, cool colors that are in a beige or white family. If you're retired like Ted, colors like bold reds and blues are really going to spice up your life. After the break, we'll explore some of Ted's excellent laundry ideas and visit the outdoor oasis on this beautiful Prince Edward Island mansion. Welcome back to At Home, where we are in Alberton, Prince Edward Island. Well, let's get a little background on this house, Ted. So how many bedrooms are in the, in the house? Okay. There, th when I bought the house, there were two bedrooms and one bathroom. Uh, now there are six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Perfect. And the, and the property is about 21 years old? The property is a little over 21 years old and it's just under 30 acres. Perfect. And there is how many bathrooms and how many fireplaces in the house? Um, there are six bathrooms and there are just two fireplaces okay. in the house. Lovely. Um, and uh, there were three, but I took one out when I moved in that was up in the master bedroom. Well, you don't often see more than one, so it's nice to even have the two. That's right. <laughs> Um, I'm a big fan of the formal living room, uh, which means no television, you know, a sit-down area for everyone to really enjoy the company of each other. So these doors actually hide 
a nice big television behind them. And we mentioned earlier with the double ovens, it really brings the luxuries into this barn home. Um, and again, you can quickly close them and you have a formal living room again, or you have the nice big TV to watch any of your favorite uh, television shows on. So one of my favorite parts of this whole property is uh, the old style guest house. So why don't you take us on a little tour of the guest house? Good. Let's go this way. So I know you're not originally from PEI and you often have your friends uh, come to visit you um, and they have the luxury of staying in this guest house. Uh, so why don't you tell, tell us all about uh, the lovely guest house, the different rooms it has, and starting with this foyer and that gorgeous pump organ. Okay. Um, uh, when I got the house, this was not this was here in form, but not in fact. Okay. There was no electricity, there wasn't plumbing, there wasn't heating, there wasn't anything else. So as I was changing different parts of the house, we decided to build out this. The bookcase behind you was where in, was in the living room, and I wanted more light, so in order to get a, a window, I took out the bookcase and just had them relocated here. We have a pump organ over here, which is an old uh, organ, and I got this from the local Anglican church. When they got a brand new organ, um, they had this one, so they had an auction, and I decided that I would get it. It's been electrified, but I took the electric part off just to move it snugly against the door. Ted has laundry facilities in two very convenient places in this home. Uh, here we're in a, one of his guest homes and we have laundry right in here which he uses uh, to allow his guests to wash their own clothing while they're here on a lengthy visit and uh, hopefully to wash their own bed linens as well. Of course, no mansion is complete without a multitude of bedrooms. As Ted mentioned earlier, this home boasts six bedrooms and six bathrooms. This here is the master bedroom, decorated in one of Ted's favorite colors, and mine as well. We also have beautiful views throughout the home, and most bedrooms overlook either the grand front yard or the beautiful backyard on the Kildare River. Ted describes this next bedroom as one of his guests' favorites, located in the second floor of one of his guest wings. It's very quaint and comfortable. It is important that Ted has a bathroom available for each of his guests, so that when they are there, they don't feel like guests, they feel just at home. The second washer and dryer pair is actually found in Ted's master closet. So tucked away behind the bathroom and in the spot where all the dirty clothes are going anyways is uh, the excellent washer and dryer to just get it done and get it put away right away so that it's not sitting in there getting all wrinkly like uh, I am bad for. One of the best features of this home is the imported chandelier that Ted has brought in. It's about five feet across and I would say about seven feet tall. It is an absolute beauty that you cannot miss. Ah, the serenity of the great outdoors. Ted has created the ultimate spot to relax and rejuvenate on this beautiful Alberton property. With two decks, one for evening and one for daytime dining, as well as the great view of the Kildare River. This is the spot to be in the summer.
Titus created the perfect environment to grow the beautiful flowers that you see behind us surrounding this pond. So Ted, why don't you give us uh, a little bit of information on how you've done that. Okay. Um, Jordan, this, when you have a house like this, you have to find out what is going to grow in what place best and, and not fight against nature. So what this is here, this is a garden that faces the east and the south. So it's going to get morning sun and it's going to get day sun for a certain period of time, but not late day sun. It's also protected from the wind here by the building and by the pergola that I, that I put up. So as a result of that, I have things like pansies that don't grow here year round that have been in the ground for three years and every year come back. I also have lavender, which is not something that's supposed to grow easily in this temperature zone, but because it's in a protected place, all three lavender plants come back and grow each year. In addition to that, this is all perennial. Everything in here is perennial. It just comes up each year. All I have to do is pull the occasional weed. Perfect. So by choosing the correct flowers and with the perfect climate, you could have a garden just like the one behind us. things Jordan that we have here is that this house obviously is surrounded by 30 acres of nature and it's on a natural river so I like to get as involved as I can with the things that are going on we have the fish here in the pond that we have I have a black fox that regularly crosses over my driveway I use clamshells to do the finish on the driveway we have a bald eagle that is nesting just next door to here so we see the bald eagle soaring overhead. We have hummingbirds. I have a feeder up there. We have goldfinches and all winter I have uh, birds that come here also and uh, and I keep on feeding them. Lovely. Why don't we give these fish some food there? Ted takes great pride in his home, especially the outdoor spaces. He always ensures his guests are comfortable inside and out. For example, he has two different decks. One, the first one, is best for evenings, beautiful dinners, glasses of wine, and enjoying the river with friends. The second deck is perfect for a cup of coffee in the morning or a lunch in the middle of the day, overlooking his beautiful garden that he's worked so hard to create. You know, Ted, this home really uh, exemplifies what it's like to live the serene life. You have the beautiful garden, the lovely pond, the amazing nature, and of course, that amazing river behind us. I love it here. Welcome back to At Home with myself, Jordan Hipson. Well, we've explored Ted's interior, exterior, and now it's time to see the beach. Stay tuned.
The one aspect that I would change here in this home in beautiful Alberton PEI is the fact that the water side of the home is not very developed. There's a lot of grassy marsh area but no real path to lead you down to this amazing, amazing red sand beach that everybody loves in PEI and the incredible Kildare River. Time to bring out the mower. So while this pot might look a little bit funny, it's actually very convenient for Ted. He uses herbs all year round, uh, both parsley, chives, and rosemary here in the back. So by planting his herbs in pots, he can very quickly pick it up and bring it inside during the winter months uh, when these herbs wouldn't do so well in the snow. Simply put, Ted has mastered the concept of interior design. He has used all of his favorite techniques and brought them together to create what his Alberton mansion is today. He has used cheery colors in his kitchen to complement the gorgeous views seen out of all windows. He uses an island on felt, a grand dining table, and of course, incredible Corian countertops. His secondary dining room is perfect for having guests over for a light brunch in the morning. Throughout the home, outlets are found on the floors, perfect for plugging in those items. His home is based off of a Mount Vernon style mansion, the first president's home on Mount Vernon. Therefore, two curved hallways or porticos are located in the home and lead onto one of the guest wings, such as this one here. With two floors, two bathrooms, and its own laundry, this guest home is the best place to stay if you're visiting Ted. His living room has curated everything it needs to become an eclectic space to lounge with friends. Art from all over the world adorns the built-in shelving units on both sides. One of the best features of this mansion are the outdoor spaces. From a driveway made completely of shells to multiple dining areas, it is an oasis full of wildlife. The back vista of this home is just as stunning as the front. Ted mentions that you'll find foxes and hummingbirds and bald eagles and so much other wildlife around his property. With about 30 acres, what else could you expect? Ted's beautiful pond is home to over 45 koi fish. He brings them inside in the winter because the pond isn't deep enough and therefore they breed all the time. His dining spaces allow for evening and morning dining depending on where the sun is. This space here is perfect to lounge with friends. The views from every bedroom are stunning. No matter where you are staying in Ted's home, which is an honor in itself, 
you will get to look out and view the excellent property. Ah, the best part of the home, the chandelier that he has imported. Absolutely fabulous at about five feet wide and seven feet tall, weighing approximately 250 pounds. This chandelier is a beauty. Walking into the home and looking up, you will just be stunned. When you have a circular table in your kitchen, you are experiencing a larger expanse in between each guest that's sitting at the table. So why not put a Lazy Susan in the middle of your table so that easy access to condiments is available. You can just spin it and grab the sauce or um, salt and pepper, whatever might uh, go along with your meal. Now you may be looking around this home and thinking that beauty isn't everything but Ted has taken the time that it requires to build both a beautiful home and a functional one as well. From the ovens to the laundry, everything in this home is made to live a wonderful life. Well, it was great of Ted to allow us to tour his Mount Vernon style mansion here in beautiful Alberton Prince Edward Island. I'm Jordan Hipson and I hope you can join us next time right here on At Home. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You the man, boy. You the man.